everybody, this is uh, Arkham Comics in Rocky Mount, North Carolina. I'm going to go in, take a look, check it out, see what they got. Um, and, uh, oh, maybe I'll go into Redfish Music, too. It looks like a music shop. With I see guitars hanging in the window. That looks kind of cool. All right, so let's go inside and take a look. Okay, just walking up. I see they got a pretty killer uh, DC New Age of Heroes poster. Which, that didn't take off too well. I like the Batman and Superman in it. I kind of forget about Sideways and Damage and those guys. Uh, and a cool, like, uh, collection of comics here. These are some of my favorites. New Frontier, right there. And uh, V for Vendetta, which, eh, is okay. Um, Winter Soldier. They really got the complete run of the boys there, too. Oh, and those black and white ones on the bottom. I got those at Ollie's. Don't tell anyone. All right, um, so let's go in and take a look. All right, hey guys, I'm back in the car. Um, Arkham Comics was really cool. Uh, people next to me just got in the car and so they're being noisy. Um, I recorded this video and somehow it didn't work. So I'm, this is take two. Uh, so here's Arkham Comics' card. Uh, now I didn't, hopefully you can get that. Um, I didn't really film too much inside, just a little bit because um, it was really, really quiet inside there. And um, there was only one other person um, and so it would be weird and I don't have Danielle here to talk to So it would have just been me talking to myself with the phone and it just seemed awkward um, So I always feel like if I'm filming like do they think I'm gonna come back and rob the place or something? <laughs> I don't know. So uh, I didn't film just a little bit somebody else came in He started talking to the guy. I went all the way in the back and filmed a little bit so you could just get a feel of it um, It looks really cool. I mean, they're just starting they, they started in 2019 so um, you know, they've got a few statues. They've got a lot of back issues. Um, the worker there, the guy was really nice, really cool guy, talking to him a little bit. Um, I probably, if I probably would have asked him if I could film, he probably would have said, okay, I just felt weird doing that. Um, but I really liked it. Really nice place. Well, as I pass through Rocky Mountain, I may come back here. Um, and let me show you what I got. Um, I went through the uh, Robin um, back issues and here is um, what I picked up because I'm trying to pick up the whole set and I know I don't have this one so um they didn't have too much they had a lot of the mini series especially Joker's Wild and then they had a lot of the Robin run in the 100s um so not not the low numbers but I picked this one up I like this cover and um I wanted to get a Robin issue uh, and it said it was three dollars and fifty cents and then I wasn't planning on getting this, but it just, it caught my eye and I was like, oh, I got to have that. That is so cool. Um, and it was this amazing Spider-Man and I'm going to say the name wrong. I think it's Komomo or something, Momoko. I, I'm not sure of the artist. I got to look it up. Um, but I thought this just was like, just beautiful, just amazing. And my daughter, Danielle and I, um, we've been talking about um, putting some comics up as wall art in our guest room. And I saw that and I was just like, oh, that needs to be part of the wall art that just looks amazing and then next to it was this book um which i also thought was incredibly beautiful now i like the spider gwen a little bit more but there's the not that there's anything wrong with captain marvel but um i just like the spider gwen a little more um but they looked like they would go well together they had a few of these they had a wolverine they had a couple others but these were the two that really caught my eye and i thought wow those two strong female heroes would look really good um framed as wall art up there um as part of our collage that we'll make so um yeah i mean i don't know there's just something about the look on her face just that little smirk it's just like i don't know it's so cool there's some confidence in her face the smirk i mean it just the colors it just looks beautiful so i had to get that um so overall really cool place i'll probably come back if we're um passing through rocky mount um north carolina he said he because this is a write-off i-95 and um interstate um i think it's uh the interstate i-95 but there's also a, a north carolina highway uh 260 which um is used a lot and this is where it intersects in rocky mount so um a lot of uh, people travel through this way 
Um, and he said he gets a lot of travelers, people who Google, Google it and stuff. Um, so on behalf of everyone at the Robin, everyone loves the Trake mega machine of podcasting facilities. Thanks for sticking around to the end. See you next time. Hey guys, it's future me here. Um, I, on my way home, I stopped at another comic book store and they had a display for the books that I was buying. And so I didn't really understand what the guy was saying. So some of you might be laughing at what I said. The covers um, that I bought were done by Peach Momoko. I didn't understand what he said to me. Now, of course, I know Peach Momoko because I watch Comic Tom 101 every week and they talk about her all the time. And so when I stopped at that store, they had like a little display. So I'm going to put those pictures in here so you can see those. And I'm sorry for the mispronunciation. I'm sorry for the terrible lighting and it makes my teeth look all weird. What's, I don't know. This is strange. But I just want to let you know. And if you laughed at me for trying to say Momoko, then I deserve it. So see you all next time.